Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we will have another look at books, the e-ink tablet that I showed you in another video. That is to me the number one remarkable killer out there as it has a lot more features than Remarkable has to offer. So if you haven't watched the video, feel free to watch this video. This is just a follow-up video where I want to show something that I saw in the comments below that you can actually download Heptabase to this e-ink device and that's pretty amazing. So let's dive right in. Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. Okay, let's see if we find Heptabase in the Play Store. Search, and I liked it. I can actually search by handwriting, and even my handwriting it should recognize. There it is, Heptabase. Now let's search for it. And there we go, Heptabase. You can actually install Heptabase on this e ink device. Amazing. Let's see how this performs. Okay, it's installed. Let's open this up. Loading journal, now that's introduction. If you don't know what Heptabase is, well, there are many videos on this channel, so feel free to check it out. Okay, so I have to send it to my email. Let's see if my bad handwriting close, but it even recommends the right thing, so I really like this way. Okay, I have to enter the code now. Okay, it's setting up Heptabase. Well, it already says only the first use of the app requires loading data from cloud. It may take a moment. Let's see if it then opens faster the next time. All right, and there we go. We are inside Heptabase. So let's see. Open up the whiteboards. Okay, here we are on the My Life whiteboard. Okay, it's not showing the whiteboard itself here. Let's see if it actually opens up. Okay, there we go. We actually can show the whiteboard on the e ink device and we can zoom in and zoom out and we can drag around obviously the experience is not even close to the experience on desktop or on the ipad device i guess double click here yeah, now it's opening the other and the loading times are pretty long but i can access it and that's key so this means i can even go here let's see if i find a pdf or let's say you know i'm just writing the new newsletter there we go you can perfectly read this as i said before i showed before you can even watch the youtube videos today we will have a deeper look into heptabase versus tana well, obviously that's not something you want to do in, in an e-ink device and it keeps refreshing things but yeah you can actually access text so if you want to read things more calmly that's perfectly doable let's find a pdf quickly okay so there's no filtering so the experience obviously is not not even close to anything that we can experience on desktop so yes it is possible but would i use it no it would just take me too much time you know i'm a busy professional and i have no time to go around this and look you know even the zoom in zoom out moving around it just feels really ugly well also obviously that you don't have colors if i color coded something in heptabase i wouldn't use it but if you want to have ebook device like this and then you want to access these things you know you can also access your highlights you can open up pdfs and check them out as well it is it is doable right but would i use it no i can create a new card and now i can start writing and obviously i can use my handwriting so that's another advantage if you may want to consider this an advantage that i can and write well obviously wrong capital there and now it's there but if i need to edit anything you know it's not like that i can strike this out now and rewrite things and this refreshing is really annoying i have to say so whenever i do anything the whole thing refreshes it's really not something that i want to use so let's have the comparison here with the ipad so here we are on heptabase on the ipad and the speed is just in a complete different level right and everything i can very quickly access this let's go to the cooking skills as well as we had before look at this how i can zoom in move things around open this up now i can double tap here and i can start writing right in here okay and if this was wrong i just kill it out like this i can use my pencil this way so you see how fast these things are and then i tap around and then you can move things around this way you can open it up it's a complete different level on experience obviously so no doubt that the ipad 
is better. See, I can use the whole screen to write the things. It still shows me recommendations. I can tap here and it gives me alternative words that it might have understood they're wrong. This is really a no brainer. So that's the reason why I will send back the books and I will keep using the iPad, no doubt about this. What are your thoughts? Is there really a reason to use the e-ink device and slow down? I mean, I have nothing against slow down and have some deep thinking and calm thinking and things like that. But these e-ink devices, they really annoy me. I, I like the distraction free looks, the e-ink look, reading something, some text, this is really nice. But I stay with my Kindle for this. Yes, I cannot access my reader and read later apps. And that's something that I really love about the books device that I can access my reader and do highlights there. And then later on have the highlights available in my deep thinking tool and in Tana. I can expand my PKM system this way. But I even try to avoid using the iPad to take notes because I want to have the information on my final destination as soon as possible. If I'm on my desktop, I usually open up the not taking apps there and directly write in there. But if I'm on the go, I might use this. If you are into handwriting, I still think there's no better device than the iPad to take notes. And if you put a screen protector on this, like the paper-like, and you also get much better paper-like feeling, obviously it's not as good as on these e-ink devices. No doubt about this. But the question is really, what do you want? Do you want to be disconnected and you really want to have a paper-like feeling? Then I would use paper to have a proper paper feeling. Or do I need to have the functionality and accessibility and speed for my access to the notes? And well, then I have no doubt to go for the iPad. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you up next time. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.